YK11, AKA the SARM that's not really a SARM and the drug your gym buddy insists turns off your genetic muscle growth breaks. Spoiler, if it sounds too good to be true, time to grab your helmet. Imagine popping a single capsule that claims to not only crank your androgen receptors to anabolic heaven, but also turn off your body's natural muscle growth breaks. Sounds impossible, right? Enter YK11. Synthesized in Japan in 2011, YK11 isn't your typical SARM. It's actually a steroid-like molecule closely related to DHT, binding androgen receptors, but with an extra trick up its sleeve, raising folostatin. Increased folostatin means less myostatin, the protein that puts limits on your muscle size, theoretically allowing you to blow past genetic growth barriers. So why are lifters hooked? Anecdotal reports promise impressive strength, dense muscle gains, and a dry, super draw-like look, minus the harsh liver toxicity. Users praise rapid visible results at doses of five to 30 milligrams a day, which is significantly lower than doses used in animal research, which would translate to thousands of milligrams. Sounds perfect, but here's the huge catch. When it comes to human clinical data, there's zero. Legitimate peer-reviewed data, barely. We have some animal studies and in vitro research showing it boosts bone density, reduces intramuscular fat, and doesn't dramatically spike liver enzymes, but that's about it. Jim Bros report nasty side effects like joint dryness and discomfort, likely from low estrogen, especially when not using with a testosterone base. And half-life, still a mystery beyond one study detecting a single five milligram dose for at least 48 hours. Street dosing reality check. Lifters typically run YK11 at five to 30 milligrams a day, orally or via injection for short cycles, four to eight weeks. But remember, YK11 is methylated, meaning liver stress remains a risk, even if it's less than something like Superdrol. Plus, it heavily suppresses natural testosterone production. Stacking becomes practically mandatory, complicating side effects even further. Contamination roulette. YK11 is entirely unregulated. Your lab grade capsules could be contaminated, underdosed, or swapped with cheaper compounds. Bottom line. YK11 promises game-changing muscle growth with fewer sides, but this is anecdotal, speculative, and risky territory. Zero approved human studies mean you're essentially your own clinical trial. Want proven safety? Stick to creatine and protein shakes. Curious about the bleeding edge of bodybuilding pharmacology? Well, YK11 might just be our first look into it. That's YK11. Huge potential, bigger unknowns. Proceed accordingly.